all right you are still watching ways now international day of awesomeness celebrated on march 10th every year is a day where anybody no matter who they are may celebrate their awesomeness yes we all possess qualities that um, makes us awesome in some way so today let's go out uh, or go out of our insecurities and prepare to give ourselves praises that we deserve so no one is perfect especially you know we know that nobody's perfect but everyone uh, in one way or the other has amazing um, characteristics so all you have to do is spotlight yourself today and concentrate on all your good qualities and what makes you special we use this day to share joy telling others how wonderful and amazing you are as a person so i am the most amazing person on earth <laughs> if i can say so myself because today day of awesomeness gives me the, the liberty to celebrate myself <laughs> so welcome awesome mary for coming late <laughs> Hi. How are you? You I'm look fine, amazing, by you. the way. Thank you. Always looking amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So what's awesome about Mary? Um, I think I have a lovely personality. Um, I really do like myself a lot. I know. And I hope, I hope people like me as well, but I don't really care. I just really <laughs> like myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I know. Glory, how about you? Well, when I saw this, one thing I really like about our show is just this every day is very important there's just something to celebrate each day and today is just about being awesome and of course i'm also awesome and flat too. <laughs> you know <laughs> no i think we know the secrets for glory we know what to give her <laughs> <laughs> to, to bring out the awesome <laughs> Very well. Oh, I know, I know what you mean. I don't go there. We know Glory. Bring out the real we'll keep the, man. We'll keep the secret to ourselves. <laughs> but hey, I mean, everyone is awesome in one way or the other, yeah. right? And, and I think people shy away from giving themselves their the flowers, credit, right? Yeah. Give yourself some credit. You you deserve it. Sometimes, and I look, I look back, I see how far have, I have grown as a person, and I know that you know what. Well, you've done well. You've done, you know, you've you've grown. You've, you know, you've weathered a lot of storm and all of that. So just sometimes, just pat yourself in the back and say you're doing amazing. So, yeah, that's that day. Glory, what did you find for us in the news? Mm. When I saw this, I was like, oh God, not again. Yesterday it was something. Today another accident. It's about a 40-foot container. On Friday, which is today, fell off a trailer of Ojuelegba Bridge in Ward Stadium, Lagos State. And I recall that some time ago, I think we had something similar to this, which claimed lives. So my only, um, I was just happy that um, no lives were lost for this. But the question I have is, how do we contain this? How do we stop this from reoccurring as frequent as it is now? I don't even know. I, is the government listening? What are they doing? Who is supposed to do what? Is someone not doing his job? What can we do to reduce or stop this? It's so sad. You know, last night when, when Jennifer and I were heading back home, we had to detour to Ikoi to drop off some things for charity. And we saw an accident that just happened last night. And it was a big truck, you know, and a small car. So obviously, that truck was trying to run away. Oh. But the people around, I don't know, they were trying to stop the truck. So you could see them visibly angry, stoning the, and telling the driver to come down. Because the driver of the big truck stopped meters away from the, the, where the, the, the crash had happened. So meaning that he was not even willing to stop. stop. You know, they had to like force the, the truck to stop. And um, there was somebody that was pulled out of that car lifeless yesterday. So we don't even know whether the person that it's just at the Glover Junction at um, in Ikoi oh, okay. there. So I don't even know what happened, honestly speaking, because it was too scary. It just literally happened right while, whilst we were there. You know, so I mean, you see, the thing about accidents, you know, most accidents that I've seen in this part of the world is actually recklessness and it yeah. is human error. It's something that I think if we start to bring a lot more stringent measures right i am very sure because for instance the boss yesterday that took that rail track had no business you know taking that rail track then even though you want to take a rail track maybe that is a crossing let us say that is where they normally take every day 
when a train is coming, the right. train is, there's you always, be yes, the train. you can be faster than the train for the magnetic pull yeah. to pull the bus to the train. It tells you that the train was really close. So the driver was trying to play smart. I mean, so that's what I'm saying. And that driver was not hurt. The people, yes, it wasn't hurt. So that's the thing. So we need to, we really need to, I, I, and this is to, to the government, you need to start to be a lot stricter with these people. Do you understand? See the person that hit me today. I don't understand. Everybody was on standstill in, at a traffic junction where the light was red. Clearly, you could see that these people were distracted. If not that maybe I had my seat belt on or all of those the security. Impact the impact would have, yeah, it was so bad. I would have hit my head maybe on, the, on, on my staring. staring or something. Because it was that bad. The impact was that bad. I didn't even know my lip was bleeding until I, 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 I left the scene and I now saw blood. You know? So, I mean, these things are just carelessness from, on the part of humans. You know, it's sad. Let me take your story, Jennifer. Um, Mary. Mary. Okay. Um, uh, Ex-President Buhari has said that Bola Tinebu's election stands, and if you are aggrieved, go to court. President Muhammadu Buhari says that the February 25th, 2023 election won by APC's Bola Ahmed Tinubu stands, and that anyone who is aggrieved with the outcome should go to court. The spokesperson, Garba Shehu, in a statement on Thursday, March 9th, said that Buhari is against any plans to annul the elections, which may have, which may have been said that was categorized, ca characterized by irregularities. So that's what our ex-president has told us. Actually, I don't understand. Is he just waking up to know they've already taken it to court or... I, I don't get why is he still saying we should take it to court? They're just re emphasizing what they've said before. <laughs> I, I don't understand. It's yeah, like, this election just, if we keep me because. It's already in court, they've taken I, it to I, court. I, so I, we're just I don't know. For. I don't know if our leaders even understand what it is <laughs> that they've done. I don't know if they understand the. I think they just don't care. You know, because I, I, well, I want to give them benefit of doubt mm -hmm. that maybe they, they just don't understand. Because they don't, they don't nobody care. has disputed that or oh, somebody won an election. What people are saying is, if you promised X, Y, Z, and you didn't deliver on those promises, what are the penalties for those yeah. on that on the uh, uh, sorry failed promises that you didn't deliver? Yeah. Right. So that's all people are asking for. I don't know. Yes, people will go to court, but you see, the truth is, you need to also wake up and smell the coffee. Your courts, you know, in Nigeria, how reliable are they? You know, how fair, how just are the systems, the justice system in our country? You know, you just need to be sure of what you're saying because, again, I don't know. Sometimes it's, it feels like maybe we're asking for too much. You know, as citizens, yeah. we're not asking for or too much. Or we complain a lot. Or we complain a lot, or you know, we just like to make noise and all of that. No. If a system was done and it seems like there was something shady around it, you know, the best thing you can do as a leader is to allay people's fears and say, no, this system was transparent and do everything mm -hmm. within your means to make it, you know, I mean, prove that it was fair. But they know it wasn't transparent. But what I don't even understand is why they just keep saying, go to court, go to court. Yeah, because like, they know what the court is about. In your face, go to that. court. If you <laughs> want to cry, just go to court. I mean, we are in a country <laughs> where judges are not like, particularly comfortable mm. do you understand mm, yeah. your, you so poverty i've always said this thing and i will keep weapon. saying yes <laughs> so poverty and it's across board right the people that are supposed to be well paid the people that are supposed to be independent you keep them subservient you keep them running cap in hand to you and all of that do you think the people will not do your bidding they will do your bidding right so it's it's a it's a very tricky it's a very tricky subject, and I have said it that after March 18th, I'm just <laughs> going to leave politics for you people, because it's not consign me. Anything you want to do is your country. I will just continue to live in it. So Kogi State Governor says he wants to arrest residents rejecting old Naira notes. For the life of me, I don't understand this story. But in a statement that was signed by the Commissioner of Information, Kingsley Fanwo, on Friday, the, state, the governor said that old currency remains a legal tender, warning that residents found rejecting it should be punished according to the law. What law? Uh, right? What law the reason the Kogi state government joined other state governors or governments in the country to pursue the case was to ease the hardship occasioned by unavailability of the new Naira notes, which the court fully granted. 
It is therefore unacceptable that some persons and businesses will continue to reject the use of the old Naira notes, even after the court judgment validating their use. Rejecting old Naira notes is a clear disobedience of the Supreme Court. Anyone who rejects the old Naira notes should be reported to the security and government authorities for immediate action. Also, banks that refuse to accept old Naira deposit shall be sealed as the state government will not accommodate <coughs> financial institutions that willfully disobey court orders, more so the orders of the highest court in Nigeria. What I don't even understand is why CBN not say, is it like they're giving in to what the Supreme Court is saying? Because that's just why people are confused. Even at Saturday, I heard someone telling me that they are not going to accept. I think he's a public driver or maybe he uses his vehicle no, no. to um, carry people. So it's like he does not accept all notes. He doesn't care. Nobody's accepting So no one accepts. Well, and CBN that's has because... a statement. That's when? That, yes. Okay. There was a memo that they released that they said that um, the old Naira notes are still valid. So I think people are just scared because it's a country where tomorrow now they can wake up and say, oh, no. We didn't I, I didn't see that, that release. Oh, no. they, I, I haven't seen our it financial too, yeah. person there is there because I don't confirm that. I didn't see that CBN, release. CBN, but I, I just wanted to, me, I even mm. wanted to say that. You see, what people are doing now, because from the report that I, I'm trying to do a documentary for a client, and the report is that they are saying that people are doing trade by butter. So I have 10 gallons of palm oil. Please give me whatever we exchange. No more. There's no even need for us to do cash again. Give me palm oil in exchange for uh, yam or something. Wow. Yeah, that's what people are doing in actually rural communities because they don't even send you people again with your, with your money. Because it's, I mean, it's becoming back and forth. We don't know whether to use it or what not to use. So people are just deciding, you know what, let's trade with our commodities. So... Uh, Glory, give me Brazilian hair. I give you, <laughs> <laughs> give you Chinese rice. <laughs> Not so that. Oh, wow. But hey, okay. So we'll take a break. I will check with that CV, and I'm not sure because yeah, yeah. I, I haven't seen that release yet. I, I saw it. I um, saw it. I'll, I'll check with. I'll check with our well. finance person coming much later. So when we take a break now, when we come back from the break, we want to discuss how we can live above. How we should not live above. How we should not live above. Because I'm living above my means. How we should not live above I mean, my means. It's almost impossible. Above our means. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>